And we are starting up the 830 high beam right now on this Monday morning. And we're doing that with the superintendent of the Connaughton Valley Union Local Schools, Todd Herman. I think I said that right, Todd, didn't I? You did indeed. Okay, good. Good. I haven't lost everything from there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're talking to uh, a lot of school administrators this time of year. And uh, we specifically wanted to talk to you because so much change is in the offing at Connaughton Valley. And I know uh, you're still growing so uh, that's uh, all in all a good thing. So uh, where do we stand with the school schedule? Because um, you guys aren't quite ready to go back yet, are you? Uh, no, sir. We uh, Our first day for kids is September 7th. Um, that was kind of the, that was the plan all along because of construction over the summer. Mm-hmm. There'll be a portion of the Rocket Center, which we will utilize um, from the beginning. It has a um, new cafetorium. Um, that we will we will use along with uh, a stage that is a band room, a library, and two classrooms for preschool. So that'll be in the early, um, I guess, release or occupancy mm-hmm. that will take hopefully September third. Oh, great! So we've seen this structure kind of take form from the outside. Uh, what is the the plan or the hoped for uh, completion dates for some of the rest of the uh, rocket center, the community center there? Well, it's it's still a little uncertain. Uh, the pandemic uh, difficulty getting uh, materials yeah. and workforce has has slowed the progress a little bit. Our our hope was that we were going to be in there at the start of school, and now it looks like it'll be you know later in the fall. Um, hopefully before the the new year. All right, but everybody's got to be excited about that, I would think. And uh, I saw that the uh, the numbers for uh, enrollment continue to climb. Is this something that you've been uh, kind of excited about and looking for? Well, we we were we were hoping this would would happen um, with the pandemic taking place. We really didn't see a, uh, any uptick last year too much. Mm-hmm. Um, early numbers this year show us a uh, little over 10% growth, so we're, we're excited. And I, I think once the, the Rocket Center is uh, fully operational, that'll, that, that number may continue to move north. Wow, I think that's, uh, that, that's fantastic. We actually talked to uh, the mayor of Sherrodsville, Michelle, last Wednesday, and she seemed to feel like the, the people are beginning to move into the area and uh, those with families, of course, which uh, makes for community growth. So all in all, that sounds pretty good. Uh, some things are started. How, how have the uh, fall sports unfolded so far for the Rockets? Well, uh, the football football team started with a, a big win Friday night against uh, Strasburg. Broke a long, long streak there. Uh, volleyball, varsity volleyball starts uh, this week, Tuesday, I believe, at home. And um, our golf team and cross country teams have have uh, started, and uh, you know it's that time of year. I know you don't have a lot of uh, students around. No students around. Um, the staff is in and out. What's the morale like with uh, the pandemic somewhat settled down, and um, you know the building close to completion? Is there a is there a buzz there? Well, I think I think everybody's ready to get back. Uh, to quote unquote normal, mm-hmm. um, but I think with the uh, recent uptick in the Delta variant, I think you know some people are cautiously optimistic. Um, you know we don't want to go back down that road, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna do many of the things we did last year. We're gonna continue with uh, our cleaning protocols. We have uh, the sneak guards in place for our elementary and. And then in the secondary rooms, anywhere where we can't guarantee a three-foot spacing mm-hmm. between kids, and uh, masks will be optional. Uh, if that's your choice, uh, then we will certainly accommodate that. And if it, if your choice for your family and your student is to not wear it, then we feel it's your right for, to do that as well. Mm-hmm. So. Um, but I think everybody's really excited and ready to get back to in-person education and, like I said, quote-unquote normal. Yeah, I mean, it did uncover some options to, uh, to kind of aid, I would think. Maybe there are some uh, additional aids that are now a little bit more comfortable, but uh, you really can't replace face-to-face, can you? 
No, you can't. That's uh, online learning. Um, you know, although it was essential for us to get through last year, it it doesn't meet the same criteria that in person learning does. Tell me about the. You got a new cafeteria. Also, is uh, am I understanding that everybody is going to get uh, lunch without uh, purchasing this year? Breakfast and lunch wow. has been extended this year uh, by the state of Ohio. So. Um, and high department of education so all all students at all schools will receive free breakfast and lunch and that's that's to help i, I believe with the uh you know negatives uh, created financially by the pandemic so we're excited because that, that that's a lot of our kids they need that yeah uh, it's yeah. really hard to educate students and uh, when their basic needs are be- not being met so if they come to school hungry you know, they're they're not worried about uh, learning their ABCs at that time. That's <laughs> for sure. A uh, little bit selfish interest, uh, uh, radio, since we're radio here. Uh, how's that program coming along? Because that's a kind of a tech program within your school that's very unique. Yes, uh, crew tech, we're, we're still moving forward. But, uh, very appreciative that you got the, the program off the ground. Well, thanks. And uh, we're, con- we're continuing on with that. And... Uh, going to look to maybe do some uh, uh, some video announcement mm-hmm. so uh, going in both directions I guess now well media I mean we're all doing everything online too so all uh, right wish the students the best of luck there and uh, you know tell them to get a hold of us if they feel accomplished and, and ready to uh, make a paycheck <laughs> we will <laughs> <laughs> tell them that you've done it so it can't be super hard right well, I I don't know, Brad. We go back we go back a long ways, and I, I I'm I'm going to have to tell the listeners your perspective and your job was a whole lot easier than mine. I mean, you threw me out in the middle of hurricanes, uh, and you're sitting up in the nice warm box. I I, I don't know. Right? It didn't seem didn't seem to be equal there. I didn't order that weather though, but uh, you just happened to be on the sideline, and we just happened to have horrible weather every Friday for what two years. <laughs> <laughs> seemed like it. I believe. <laughs> well, I want to uh, thank you for sharing with us this morning. It is we do have a unique um, relationship, I guess. I've been your boss, and you've been my boss, so it's uh, it's kind of nice just to talk and uh, and have a little fun. So uh, I know things are going great out there. And uh, it's it's been, uh, I'm sure, very challenging, but under your leadership um, from uh, day one until now, it's just uh, n- night and day. So congratulations, and I know there's more to come, so uh, we'll keep an eye on the Rockets, okay? I appreciate that, Brad. Hey, my our pleasure to have you on. So good luck with the school year, and uh, we'll talk to you again, all right? Okay, have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. That's Todd Herman. He's the superintendent of Connaughton Valley Schools here on the 830 High Beam on the BT Morning Show. No.